What's going on, everyone? Jeremy and Doc here on this uh, wonderful Labor Day, uh, lamenting what I kind of thought was going to happen. We talked about this last week. Uh, it was a very big victory for uh, online freedom of speech. Usually when you're a free speech advocate, you are pressed. You are tried. Your support of free speech is tried by the worst kind of speech. Not the 99.9999999% of speech that most people ever encounter online, but usually the worst stuff. And, and, and gaslighting pro-censorship weirdos will come around and say, well, here's something horrendous. Do you support that? It's very easy to not. It's this idea that if you are pro-free speech, that you must support all speech. You must agree with all speech. It is a way that gaslighting censorship goons will get people to waver and like question their own support of free speech. There are all sorts of things that are said by all sorts of people that are awful that I don't support, but I support their right to say it. And what they do is they put you on, they try to put you up with them. They say, oh, Andrew Tate said this terrible thing and, and the quartering supports Andrew Tate. No, I support freedom of speech. Oh, the quartering supports the farms where they put, they say horrible things about, uh, 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 protected groups. No, I just support their ability to say it. And, uh, we had a huge, what felt like a huge win last week and predictably it completely crumbled this week. I'm going to get into it after a super quick word from this video sponsor. Huge shout out to this video's sponsor, Private Internet Access VPN. Look, it's 2022. Everyone should be using a VPN by now. They unlock content. They provide an immense amount of privacy and much more. From a privacy standpoint, not using private internet access would be like forgetting to mute yourself on Zoom and then talking about your coworkers. For a unblocking content worldwide, watching Netflix without private internet access is like paying for an entire spa day but only getting a facial. Private internet access unlocks content. It adds an extra layer of protection. It conceals your internet traffic, your true IP, yours alone. You can access your favorite content, region lock content. There are thousands of worldwide server locations. And I've been working the private internet access so long, they have a massive discount for you, my subscribers, when you use the link in the description or in the pinned comment down below. So get protected, get access to all the content you deserve and save huge by using my custom link in the description or pinned comment down below to get private internet access today. Hey, it's 2022. If you haven't got a VPN yet, take advantage of the massive discount they give my viewers and get yourself more non online and also get access to all sorts of more programming that you probably didn't know that you could get for free. Now, on September 3rd, after issuing a bold statement the week before, a couple days before, Cloudflare, this site that had kind of protected uh, this forum from DDoS attacks and all that, this is one thing that everyone seems to, oh, it's totally fine to DDoS this website because there's, there's words on it that we don't like. There's all sorts of stuff like that going on, but expecting the left to be you know, consistent is ridiculous. Um, but you know, Matthew Prince came out, uh, or, or somebody at Cuba farms came out and said, or at uh, cloud, cloud, Cloudflare, that no, no, we're not going to take the site down. Well, two days later, yep. They took the site down. We have blocked the farms visitors to any of these sites that use any of Cloudflare services. will see Cloudflare's block page and a link to this post. And that's true. If you try to go to the website, you get this server security by Cloudflare. What happened due to an imminent and emergency threat to human life we didn't see any of that by the way and from what i've seen um the admin of that forum has denied these claims and has asked for evidence and i don't believe any has been provided at least at this point but who's who's surprised right so you try to go to the website you get this and then why they blocked it so drive pictures to their own or drive traffic to their own blog i guess their site may move sites to other providers and in doing so come back online but we've taken steps to block their content from being accessed through our infrastructure. This is an extraordinary decision for us uh, uh, to make and given Cloudflare's role as the internet infrastructure provider, a dangerous one that we are not comfortable with. However, the rhetoric on the farm site and specific targeted threats have escalated over the last 48 hours. Again, no evidence provided, 
you would think that like, and again, I'm not saying I know that it didn't exist. What I'm saying is if you're going to put this post out, you should probably back it up. Don't you think? I mean, if you're going to say these are escalating threats, where? What, what Can you show me some so I know like where, where Cloudflare's line actually is? No, what this really was, uh, was the consistent media pressure and this whole like, Oh, well, what Jeremy, do you have do you support all the terrible things they do to the trans people? Child, please. They had a whole long thread on me there, which listed my personal home address and Tara said terrible things about me too, okay? It was probably the site that the people used to swap me, and I'm still standing here defending it. All right. I'm not defending putting people's addresses out. I'm not defending doxing people. I'm not defending some of the heinous things they said. But I am defending their right to say it and their right to exist. But I mean, that's like an impossible thing for these new, the new liberal. You know, when I called myself a liberal when I was 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, if you were like uh, against big tech, uh, you were against big pharma, and you were against censorship. So the idea of suddenly being like pro censorship is really weird. And I think I'm coming from a unique position here on talking on it because you know i'm not just saying oh it, you know it's not something that doesn't affect me it does the idea that you know escalating threats i mean where where cloudflare provides security services to them protecting them from ddos and other cyber attacks we have never been their hosting provider as outlined west wednesday we do not believe in terminating security services is appropriate even to revolting content and we're in a law respecting world, the answer to even illegal content is to not use other means like DDoS attacks to silence it. Essentially calling them out a little bit, saying like, hey, you clowns are the ones DDoSing them. This is not okay either. But you know, only wrong tact, only never wrong tactics, only wrong targets, I think is uh, essentially what the modern kind of pro censorship era is all about. They don't care about doxing when it's the libs of TikTok. They don't care about um you know DDoSing when it's the farms. But if it was like a website for trans folks, it would be the worst thing ever on the planet ever. Like they can't see their own hypocrisy. Pressure the pre as the pressure campaign has escalated, so did the rhetoric on the farm site feeling attacked. Users of the site became even more aggressive over the last 2 weeks we have proactively reached out to law enforcement in multiple jurisdictions highlighting what we believe to be potential criminal acts and terrible threats. Again, we don't know. It, look, and we know that it's entirely possible that people who are members of kind of this de-platform campaign very well could have went on there and posted those things themselves. I'm not saying that they did or that I know they did or whatever, but you know, there's got to be some sort of investigation. I saw one of the last threads I saw was the admin of the website outlaying this new, a brand new user who had come on and done like, you know, some terrible posts in which they were banned almost immediately. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. They wrote, finally, we are aware and concerned that our action may only fan the flames of this emergency. The website itself will likely find other infrastructures that allows them to come back online, as did these other websites after we terminated them. And even if they don't, the individuals that use the site to increasingly be mean, we will, will feel even more isolated and attacked and may lash out further. There is real risk by taking this action today. We may have further heightened the emergency. But you still did it. You know, you still did it. Now they move to a uh, Russian domain. Essentially, from what I'm understanding, is a site is having trouble staying online because of people illegally DDoSing it. That's that's what I how I understand when I read this. And you have, you know, Cloudflare blocks Kiwi Farms you immediate threat. Show me one. If you have all this evidence, why can't you post literally any of it? It's so sus. The Voldemort of anti-trans websites. It's not an anti-trans website. It's a website that essentially memes on lol cows or people they deem to be lol cows it's far from exclusively trans people if you'd spend any time on the forum at all you'd know that but again the media knows when you use the certain words suddenly their lives mean more than the lives of everyday regular people 
you know, am I, am I, I don't think that there's any reason to celebrate this. And again, I say that as somebody who's had to deal with some of the worst that the, that that site has had to offer, um, people using information posted there to, uh, harass me or per per perhaps they used it to, to, to SWAT. I don't know. There are lots of people saying, you know, oh, there's all sorts of, you know, people who have taken their lives because of this forum. Um, it's been linked, they say. No actual evidence at all. See, in my life, there is a family emergency. There's absolutely nothing to do with the forum drama. I cannot and will not elaborate further. This There will be a week or more where I'm completely unavailable, and it's likely the site will go down during this time where I will not be able to bring it back up. I want to appraise our situation, frankly. Domain registrar Cloudflare was our application level DDoS mitigation and our domain registrar. They have given me a way to transfer my domain to another registrar. I do not know what registrar to send it to because I don't have faith in any company. DDoS guard will drop us, will drop us, dropped us while I was writing this post. This meme about Russia being free country is a joke. The U.S. is a free country, but with no stewards to protect it. Without the U.S., there is no second best. I did not expect Cloudflare to crumple so quickly. I don't have a plan C for the DDoS mitigation. Again, DDoSing is you know flooding a site with traffic to keep it down, to bury the servers. Resource allocation. I own IP addresses. Our IP allocation is for from Apnic. It's one of five private companies that allocate these type of things. I mean, I'm guessing that they will be back, but I think it's pretty hilarious that everyone's totally fine with all the DDoSing going on and all sorts of stuff like this. Um, they're fine with that. A D, you know, you see a DDoS guard representative has confirmed that the company dropped Kiwi Farms without waiting for an official notice, citing a non-compliance with their accept acceptable use policy and a multitude of inquiry from ordinary users why is nobody looking into who's doing all this ddosing which is i assume some level of crime well it's because they agree with who it's being done to it's truly nothing to celebrate at all and the people that are celebrating it are uh are going to be the most surprised when it comes for them i hope you enjoyed this video we'll talk to you again real soon